Hey guys, it's Ro. Welcome to another Nerdy Nummies. I got so many requests from you guys to make something from the new Animal Crossing game, New Horizons. So that is exactly what we're gonna be doing today. This was so perfect because my boyfriend Mike, aka Husky, H-E-S Husky, is actually playing through the game right now on his YouTube channel. I'm putting a link down below so you can go check it out. I love watching him play video games. He's one of the only people who I actually enjoy watching him play games more than I actually enjoy playing them myself because he's so entertaining. Anyways, so he's playing through the game and he gets this cute little cake. He moves into his house and his mom sends him a birthday cake. <gasps> it's so cute. This is the cake in the game. So this is also the cake that we're gonna be making today. And also, don't judge. This clip is from when he was first starting the game, so his house isn't really like in order yet, you know what I mean? Actually, it's like when we first met. He didn't have any furniture. I mean, it was just barren. He really needed my help. I think for Christmas, the first gift I gave him were a towels. Anyways, I digress. So the cake that we're baking today is the exact cake that we saw in the game. It's going to be a carrot cake. Carrot cakes are also really special to me because they are my mom's favorite cake. This is her all-time favorite cake right here. And I was like, who? I've, got, I've already got a recipe. From my new cookbook, Baking All Year Round, in the Easter section or spring section, page 44, that is my mom's favorite carrot cake recipe. So we're gonna be making this recipe, but we're gonna be decorating it to look exactly like the one from Animal Crossing. All right, now, Let's get started. The carrot cake recipe that I'm using today from my book was designed for two eight inch round baking pans. And today I'm using six inch, so I'll have a little bit of extra batter. I'm gonna be making some carrot cake cupcakes with the extras. Nom, 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 nom. I'll be posting all the ingredients and their measurements in the description down below. So if you wanna follow along at home, you can. The first thing that we're gonna do is combine all of our dry ingredients in a big mixing bowl. Bowl. That's right, I'm gonna be using a stand mixer today because it's a lot of ingredients, but you can do this by hand or with a hand electric mixer. First, we're gonna add our flour. Woo! Then our brown sugar. Brown sugar's a little sticky, so sometimes you gotta wiggle it out of there. That was, then add your cinnamon. I make little noises just like the game. You just fit right in. Oh, oh my gosh! Mike's so cute. He also made a Nerdy Nummies t-shirt. He hand did it pixel by pixel. And in the game, he's wearing this cute little smart cookie t-shirt. Mike, that was really sweet of you. Did you do that for brownie points? Does it work? <laughs> Add nutmeg, baking soda, baking powder, and a little bit of salt. Salty, salty. Then mix together on a medium speed until well combined. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oopsies, oopsies. Sorry, I got a little excited. I just wanna eat this cake. Whoa! Once all the dry ingredients are well mixed, we are gonna whisk together our melted butter, eggs, and vanilla extract. So I'm gonna pour all of the melted butter into the bowl. Ooh, that smells so good. Add four eggs, the whole eggs, the yolk, and the egg white. One, two, three, and four. And some vanilla extract. Whisk together till fully combined. Once the butter and eggs are well mixed, add to the dry ingredients. And if I didn't have a stand mixer and it was just a big bowl and I was doing it by hand, I would make a little well and pour in the wet ingredients. But because I've got this powerful stand mixer, I'm just gonna let it rip. Woo! There we go. Now on a medium speed, you're just gonna keep mixing until no dry streaks are left and all of the flour is incorporated. Woo! Let's go. Mix it up. Woo! This batter looks amazing. It's time to add our final ingredient, which are a bunch of shredded carrots. I'm gonna unlock this. Let me get all this batter off. Oh my goodness, get in my face. All right, bad boy. <laughs> Don't worry about that. This batter is pretty thick, so this is gonna take a little bit of muscle, but we're gonna fold in our shredded 
carrots. Oh my gosh, I love this. So we're just gonna add in the carrots and fold them in. I'm gonna do half at a time because there's just so many carrots. If you've never folded batter before, it's really easy. You just take a spatula or a large spoon and you scoop underneath the batter, underneath to the bottom, pull up and over the top and then turn, under, over, turn, and you just keep doing this till you mix all those carrots in. This is also gonna give you a great arm workout because this is a thick batter. I'm gonna break some of these carrots even a little bit more. Our carrot cake batter is now ready to bake. In front of me, I have two six inch round pans which I've greased and lined the bottom with a piece of parchment paper so that they won't stick. They'll be really easy to pop out. And now we're gonna fill them about two thirds, 75%. And again, just a reminder, you're gonna have a little bit of extra batter left over. So if you'd like to make cupcakes like me or cake pops, whatever you fancy, you can. Oh yeah, look at that. Delish. Molly, mom is shaking. She's gonna jump through that screen and come eat all this cake batter right now. Not if I get to it first. Molly! Okay, we can share. And the reason I'm making a little bit of a smaller cake is because right now I'm just home with my family, so I wanted to make a smaller size that we could all share together and not be wasteful. And the little muffins that I'm gonna make with the extra, we could freeze them and we could eat them all week. Our cakes are ready to bake. You're gonna heat your oven to 350 degrees and bake for about 45 to 55 minutes. While our cakes are baking, I'm gonna make the decorations for the top of the cake five carrots. Now, I guess you could use real carrots, but the carrots on top of the cake in the game were really round, they look very cartoony, and they wanted the cake to look identical. So I'm gonna be making them out of marshmallow fondant. So over here I have orange and green marshmallow fondant. I have one finished carrot already. Here is the goal to make four more of these. All right, so what I'm doing with the orange fondant, I'm just breaking off a piece and I'm kind of shaping them into an oval. It's a bit too big. About there. And I gently roll so it gets nice and smooth. Once it looks like the carrot, I'm using a small sharp knife, so be careful, don't get your fingers, to make little impressions in the side so it looks like a carrot. Some are short, some are a little bit longer. But look at that, adds a little texture, looks like a carrot. I'm gonna make five of these. And for the top of the carrot, to make the green stem, take a little bit of green marshmallow fondant. This is just marshmallow fondant using my recipe with a little bit of green food coloring. I'll put a link down below if you wanna make it. It's so easy, three minutes in the microwave. It is the easiest thing. And you're just going to whoop, take a little bit and you're gonna roll them, do, 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 do. Six little pieces per carrot. And then we're gonna stick them together. Together. There's one in the middle and five around the side. Looks like a little flower. You're gonna gently press the ends together and it will kind of look like a cone. Then using a sharp cutting knife, be careful, don't get your fingers. We're gonna cut off the cone so it's flat. And there we go, those are the tops to our carrots. Now to attach them, if your fondant is still soft, you can just stick the fondant right on top. But if your fondant has sat out for a little bit and it's beginning to harden, you'll wanna put a little bit of water to attach fondant to fondant. That will act as glue. Mine are still soft, so it should stick pretty well. Place that right on the top. Boom, got a little carrot. All the decorations are done and I've took the cakes out of the oven, gave them plenty of time to cool. You wanna make sure that they are completely cool before you start icing so the icing does not melt. And in front of me, I also have a cake plate because in the game, Mike, this is what it looked like they served it on. Yeah. It was like a cake, I was like, this is perfect. And I've got a turntable to make icing a little bit easier, but I'm gonna place this cake plate down, and now I'm gonna place one of the cakes in the center, so it looks just like the one from the game. We are going to ice and stack the cake. I'm gonna be using some classic buttercream. I scooped a bunch into a plastic bag, and I'm not even using a tip, because it doesn't really need it. You just cut the end. I like to pipe an outline all the way around and then fill it in. Using an offset spatula, smooth the top. I'm just applying really gentle pressure, woo, just like this, spinning the turntable around. And don't worry if a little bit of icing goes off the side, because you won't see it. Now I'll place the second cake on top and I'm actually gonna flip it upside down. 
I'll try to line it up. Let me look to see if that's looking good. Oh, a little bit over, move it a little bit. Oh, that's better. Okay, and press down very gently. I like to flip the top cake upside down for many reasons. One, it's extremely flat, it looks cleaner, and two, it's less crumbly. Now I'm gonna ice the cake to look like the video game. In real life, I would cover the whole thing with frosting, but in the game, they cover it from the top to about right here with frosting, leaving the bottom like a naked cake, a little bit more exposed. So I'm gonna try to follow the same pattern. Again, to do so, I'll be icing using buttercream icing. I'm gonna be using the same technique to ice, starting on the top, piping an outline, filling it in, and then working my way down the side. Usually I start at the bottom and work my way to the top, but today we're doing it in reverse. Ice the top and some of the sides of the cake. Now I'm gonna ice little wiggles at the bottom. Don't worry about the icing being perfect because this looks like a very homemade cake. I'm just gonna do little wiggles. After you pipe the squiggles, smooth it out with an offset spatula, go around and round as best you can. Video, our cake is completely frosted and now it's time for the final decoration step. We're gonna add our little fondant carrots to the top. These little carrots are placed evenly apart, all pointing towards the middle. I'll put you here. Boop, boop, and boop. And ta-da! Here is the birthday carrot cake from the new Animal Crossing game, New Horizons. It is Adorable, it turned out so much better than I even imagined, and this recipe is delicious. Again, it is my mom's favorite recipe, and her favorite kind of cake is a carrot cake. A big thank you to you all who suggested that I make something from the new game. Let me know in the comments down below, are you playing the new Animal Crossing? Because my boyfriend is, and I am like watching him play. But I'll be honest, I really don't feel like I'm missing out because I'm watching all of his great gameplay. Again, I'm gonna be putting all of his links to all of his different gameplay videos down below. It is super cute, so go check it out. And if you have any other ideas for any other nerdy dummies, please let me know, leave me a comment down below, and I will do my best to make it happen. And if you guys make this cake, please take a picture and send it to me, just tag me. I love seeing your baking creations. It makes me happy, it makes my day, and if you like watching baking videos, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, click subscribe, and ring the bell to receive notifications every time I post a new video. All right, thanks again for watching, you guys. Bye-bye.